Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. John Moxley shows up at the beginning of the show. And he calls out Darby Allen. He's like, brother, I'm not I'm, I'm looking for you and I'm not hard to find or whatever he said. And then he says this really weird comment to Tony Schiavone. And he's like, this is not your company or something like that. Yeah. And now there are a lot of rumors <laughs> out there about what he could have possibly meant, where they could be possibly going. We are not breaking any news here. We are just talking about the wackiest version of the speculation that I've heard. And I'm sure you've heard the same thing as I have. I the, specu it. the speculation is that Moxley, possibly Bobby Lashley, we saw Marina Shafir, <laughs> um, maybe, MVP. maybe MVP, and the Shelton. last person, and possibly Shelton, and the, and the last person who could be involved is the wildest one, was Shane McMahon. Shane Underground. Not only Shane Underground, <laughs> but it, would he come in to try and steal the company? Like, what was Moxley's... What was that line about? This is my prediction. Or okay. if, they, if they go that route, this is how they're going to do it. Okay. They're... Tony's going to be out there. He's going to announce the big te television de deal. It's going to be a big celebration. Out comes Shane McMahon and says, yep, deal with me, but I don't know if you read the fine print, but I'm part, I'm, you know, majority owner, but, a, you know, WBD, you know, <laughs> so, you know whatever. Or, or, or I work for, I work for, I'm contracted with WBD. And David, then David, David yeah. Zaslov has appointed yeah. me yeah, the director yeah. of AEW. That's what I think is going to happen. Or, or I thought John Moxley was channeling josh barnett with the riddles and so, know, okay so a master and they're gonna do some kind of shoot club with so you mentioned you mentioned barnett i also there there's also versions of that story with him attached too yeah yeah which yeah if, if you know anything about moxley like he holds that dude in very high esteem um if it is a takeover the company storyline it's the we're second still, one of the year, going, by the way. We're still going through it, right? Are we still going through it with the may, 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 uh, th Then, if that happens, then the Bucks come out and they just go, oh, all right, I guess we Man. can go back to just being our normal selves. Yeah, yeah. We don't want to work with the shooters. Can you imagine the Bucks <laughs> versus Shelton Benjamin and Bobby Lashley? Oh, my God. That would be fucking hilarious. Okay, so, I, I, again. I don't want to see all this. Please. Well, well okay, so not, not that I think that it's something that that would work necessarily in the current landscape of what AEW does. Yeah. For the content, for what we do, it would be really crazy and fun to talk about, but I also want to see AEW be successful. I don't know if this is the, the way yeah. to do it. Okay. This say this scenario does happen. Shane comes in, MVP, Bobby Lashley, etc. What about that core fan base? Mhm. Mm they love good wrestling matches and you know, a bunch of near falls and, you know, blood and guts and all this stuff. We want we want that. And now the, we're getting there this. are people who have said if Shane comes into AW, I'm stopping watching. I don't know if they will. No, they won't. but that, you know, that is something that they've people have said that they would get that frustrated with this. OK, here's another thing. Netflix announced the Vince McMahon documentary series is coming out. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to read the tweet from Netflix that just came out today. Mr. McMahon, a documentary series chronicling the rise and fall of the WWE's controversial founder is coming to Netflix on September 25th from Chris Smith, executive producer of Tiger King and Bill Simmons, including interviews with McMahon prior to his resignation his family, and some of the most iconic names in wrestling history, as well as the journalists who uncovered McMahon's allegations. Mm. Okay, so it says and family. Now, how, how many family members do we know of, of Vince McMahon? We know uh, his no. wife, Linda. I don't think she'll be involved. I'll be shocked. We know Stephanie. Mm-hmm. Still be shocked she was a part of it. And we know Shane. He might see something. 
we know Triple H is a son-in-law. Mm-hmm. And Bruce. that's... <laughs> yeah I, I don't even know who what he's like the he's family. like the, he's like the family piss boy <laughs> he's yeah. like the piss boy come here Ke- Ke- kevin dunn I, I, oh maybe. man okay so my, my point is is that if this is true and I, I will bring it up with Dave on Wrestling Observer Radio. I'm sure. Okay. Well, I, n- not you know, we we mostly cover things that happen in business, but I am interested in his thought on on this. It, you know, just the rumor itself. But if this were true, and Shane is coming, and you're Tony Khan, wouldn't you want to wait to see what Shane says in this documentary before you <laughs> put him on your television? Yeah, I think so. I think you're onto something there. I would put the brakes on whatever they are doing based off of this announcement, because yeah. I want to see what the, uh, you know, what the fallout is going to be of that documentary. And you you just putting someone who is associated, who is mm-hmm. kinfolk, who is, has uh, DNA, the last, the last name, attaching that person to this AEW product is already going to get a visceral reaction from some people. Now, this documentary comes out and this guy, this this guy that you're bringing in looks awful in it. That that could be just really, really bad. So already, I don't like the idea from AEW fan base perspective. I'm kind of intrigued from you and I as podcasters. But yeah, uh, but yeah I, I would I would hold off. Maybe Tony has knows people who have seen it and they're like, no, nah, it's fine or whatever. But still, that one that one's a little scary. So uh, very, very interesting. Prediction for the finish of the documentary. Mm-hmm. Now they always throw the little updates, right? Mm-hmm. You know, litigation is still going on, or whatever. There's still, still, there's still this case is still an ongoing, right? Investigation, and then it's going to go because Netflix W is coming to Netflix in 2025. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's going to be. But with Vince McMahon gone, WWE has to ride under the creative and, and the vision of, uh, you know, you know, uh, the U, uh, UFC, Tony, uh, Nick yeah. Khan and and uh, head of content creator, uh, you know, Paul, Le- Triple H, Levesque. That's what's yeah. going to end. That's what we're going to see. Because they got a baby face WWE a little bit going. I think in. so. My, so Seriously. my finish to this was the the third or the last episode, the, the second to last episode. You know how it's they episodic? Do I think it's episodic. Oh, okay, I said okay. series. That's, I like that. Okay. So let's say there's four episodes. I don't. I don't know if that's true or not. But at the end of episode three, all of a sudden you see kind of a shadow, and it is of Stephanie McMahon, and it is like, this is the person you want to hear make current comments about Vince. Like that's the person I want to hear. Like I. Mm. I'm really like I really want to know what she thinks about her pops. Now, I would I mean, I can't imagine being in her shoes. I can't imagine yeah. the things that she's seen probably scarred for the rest of her life for some of the things that she's seen. But if you can get something good out of a McMahon in this situation, it is somebody who sympathizes with now she doesn't want to put her dad in jail probably so you can't really sympathize with the victim yeah. or with the in, in this lawsuit but you could you could have a little bit of goodwill in this documentary if stephanie is kind of the voice of reason in it so i'm interested to see if she's in it now you don't think she's going to be in it well, and no. I, I i think it would be safe if she's not but i could see her being sort of what you just said where you're trying to baby face the company a little yeah. bit if she's in or she might make an appearance, but it's going to be one of those dark shaded out characters and the <laughs> voice is distorted. And it's just going to be like, <laughs> yes, I was the one that passed a note about the sexual allegations. And, you know, during our first initial, after we watched the episode of suits, Paul, and I decided to, um, <laughs> whatever the show was, what was that show on HBO? I don't know that, that the, uh, everyone always talks about the HBO show. That's, was succession. going on succession yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, i gotta watch that show <laughs> it was really good but um and I, but here's what i want to see this is why this is the deep cut i want to see in this documentary we're talking about this man's relationship with the boys 
I want to see him get the Doomsday device in the bar by the, the road, <laughs> the road warriors. warriors. That's what I want to see. That would make me happy, man. I wonder if Brett's going to be in it because Brett loves to tell the story of what he said. The best punch he's ever thrown yeah. is when he knocked Vince. He it, it went from uh, I think knocking Vince out to like lifting Vince up off of his yeah. feet. He hit him so oh, hard. Oh, pretty soon he'll going to have a fireman's carry and he's going <laughs> to 